you have to believe in what you've got to offer. So good, bro. You have to believe in your source. Come on now. You have to believe what you carry. And look at what you've been through, bro. Bro, bro. Literally, look at what you've been through. <laughs> <laughs> the battle's gone. Growing up in Fort Neath Preden, it's not the easiest place to live. Mm. That's the first time I got rushed or beaten up. Mm. Man. Mm. Wait, what? Yeah, for real. My 30 man. Every action you'll do is either serving you or disserving you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a long period of time, I realized I had an inferiority complex because I didn't feel that there wasn't that much black people in the industry. Mm-hmm. Imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome. Because I didn't feel the patient would accept my price, I would lower the price for them. Mm. But you took it in a way of like, yeah, I am the expert here. Hold yeah. on. I'm the one that's, that's treating you. You're giving them a gift, bro. Mm. You're literally giving them a gift with your treatment. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. I hope you guys are all doing well. It is time, purpose-led time, and today we have a special, special guest. Now, before we introduce the guest, I think it's very important for us to introduce the main man, Big Jono. How you doing, brother, man? One of the main men. I'm doing very well myself. How you doing, my bro? Bro, I'm doing very, very well, man, but... You smiling today? Bro, smiling, man, and the reason why, because we've got a serious, huh. serious dentist. Trust me, after this, I'll be, I'll be booking my thing still. You know what I'm Teeth are cool. Oh Teeth are good. But they could be great. Brave. They could be great, bro. Why, be great. why good when you can have great? Why 100%. great when you can have excellence? Come on. <laughs> why great when you can have excellence? And speaking of excellence, very, very special guest. before we get to that guest, as Rob said, my name is Jonathan. Yes, sir. I run a thought leadership agency. Come on now. I help B2B yeah. scale up yeah. and become thought leader yeah. through podcasts yeah. and personal yeah. branding. You like that? Yeah. I'm Adlib man. Yeah, yeah. I'm Adlib man. The Adlib man. Oh. <laughs> really. What do you do, my brother? Yes, people. My name is Coach Klutze, Robert Klutze. I help professionals, mid-level professionals in particular, accelerate their careers by helping them secure job promotions mm. or career changes through enhancing their public speaking and their communication skills. I always say this, right? Hard skills get you through the door. People skills get you in to the bedroom. Now, nothing raunchy, nothing raunchy. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is no. But what I'm trying to say is I'm this, going, right? Uh, why we? Why? Why? Why do you want to be in a door where you could be comfortable in the bedroom? Yeah, yeah, comfy. <laughs> you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, oh, we got to be comfortable, uh, right? You guys, you, yeah, you go with that, PG man. thing, PG <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> but as I say, I help people secure job promotions and career changes through enhancing their public speaking and communication skills. Did you know that ten percent of people? No, oh, sorry, fifty percent of people actually reduce their capacity to be promoted due to their inability to speak confidently wow. Wow. that's a lot of people being held back because you can't wow. speak speak up wow. shout Haley melinda anyways up, the point of today is not about us Mm-mm. no way it never is bro it never is it never it's is. bigger than us bro bigger bigger us, bro. bigger, bigger. No, 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 no bigger biggest it's the biggest <laughs> the biggest the biggest, the biggest. The biggest. Can, what's it biggie duets biggie duets man <laughs> listen <laughs> yeah mate Robert is gonna do us a favor. Yeah, man. To introduce this this wondrous man that we have on mm-hmm. the side. Robert, yes, people. Bro. So today we've got a serious guest. Mm. This man here is the people's dentist. You know about the rock, mm-hmm. WWE, the people champion. This is the people's dentist, you know. Wow. <laughs> he's the owner of a dentist practice. He's a clinical director of Dove Dental Wellbeing. And also, 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 in fact, I don't know how recently when this comes out, but now is an owner of another dentist practice in central London. Oh. Serious stuff, you know, like, mm-hmm. that's deep. Do we know what we do for that stuff? <laughs> so as we say, clinical director, mm. people's dentist, mm. owner of a dental pra- dentist practice, and expanding and continuing to expand. This is a man of excellence. He is a rock. He's a dentist, the people's dentist, and his name is Dr. Dapar. How you doing, brother, man? Come on, man. Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. He's, welcome. Used, to, he's, used, to, he's used to accepting that celebration. Welcome, welcome to the purpose-led family, man. No, I appreciate you guys, man. You, man, have been, um, you've been, uh, you've been cool ever since we kept in contact. Mm-hmm. Especially we had the WhatsApp group, and I just feel you lost energy. Do you know what I mean? It's same as mine. I've been inspired by you, like just wow. just being in your presence. And as I said. Before we leave here, you're gonna give me your top ten list of yeah. books. And yeah, yeah, read. yeah. You know, but um, I'm happy to be in the midst of great men. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And um, I just know that whatever you guys are doing now, mm-hmm. as you say, it's bigger than you. Mm-hmm. And I just believe that you know you guys will be catapulted into the next. You you are the guys to watch out for. Mm-hmm. Amen. The next two, three, four, five years. 
All I can say is that I'm glad I know you guys now. Amen. Amen. <laughs> glad we know you now. Yeah, no, we know no, you. No, 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 no. By the way, guys, I don't want you guys to sleep on that point we just said there. This, we, you just heard me say and read out his accolades, and the first thing he said to us is this: I want to get you guys. I want to get you guys top ten books. People who are winning are always being ready to be taught. Mm. A teachable spirit is so important in life, guys. If you feel like you've already made it, please stop that. Please divorce that feeling and understand that life is for living and life is for learning. But talk about learning. Let's learn more about you, bro. <laughs> you see, we're smooth today, bro. It's that a smooth one still. <laughs> Come on, man. But, bro, obviously, you've done a lot of things, right? <laughs> um, you own dentist, dentist practices now. Not even practice, practices. Plural. Plural, mm. right? Mm. But how does Johnny even begin with dentistry? I want, to, I want to go back. I know you... Sorry, sorry to cut you off, right? Cool, I want to go back before dentistry school and how it was for you growing up. Yeah, man. So, once again, guys, I appreciate you, man, getting me on. Um... But yeah, it's it's been a journey, brothers, man. It's been a journey, mm. and um, I would say um, that you know, me being Ghanaian, growing up in a African household, you know, you know, it's all about being a doctor, lawyer, accountant, that mm. kind of mix. And um, just as we grew up in school, I had a leaning or stronger leaning into the sciences. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And um, so I grew up thinking that, you know, I was going to do medicine. And um, what I did is that I then went on work experience. And um, I shadowed a GP and it was okay. And so I went, went to the hospital and it was good. But the dent the doctor who I was shadowing said to me, first of all, he was in his mid to late 30s. And he had a family... I think he had two kids at the time mm -hmm. and he was still studying. And at that time, I thought medicine, just like any other um, careers, that you finish uni and then boom, that's it. Mm. Not knowing that you had to continue learning and all yeah. of that stuff. But for him, he had to balance family, still studying, who hasn't reached the top of his game. Yeah. She actually said to me, yo, like, Kev, if I was to start my life again, I'll be a dentist. Wow. I said, really? Why? Then he said, well... Um, you have better working hours. Mm -hmm. um, you have the opportunity to own your own business and you can still um, change people's lives. And if you want to study, which I'm doing now, I'm doing, I'm continuing studying. I'm doing it at my own pace. Okay. Um, and I'm fitting around my time and my lifestyle. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, so you yeah, have yeah. the choice. And then shortly after, it gave, gave me food for thought and that's why I think we were talking before exposing yourself to certain rooms because yeah. when you have access to certain people mm. then they'll be able to give you information that you wasn't privy to. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Not knowing that was a purpose moment wow. for me. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I was quite close to my GP at the time, my family doctor, which I'd spent some time with him. Then he goes, he just literally, back in those days, said he wrote a letter and he, and he gave it to me to, set, to give it to a local dentist at the time. I just spent a week with him, a week or two, and I saw, and I think the key moment for me was when I think there was a particular patient who who had a broken front tooth mm -hmm. and he had a wedding on Saturday. This was a Thursday or Friday Ooh. evening. And he was like, he was like, listen, such and such is getting married. Mm -hmm. I need something. And within literally 20 minutes, I saw what the dentist was able to do. Wow. And I saw the impact he had on the patient's confidence or how happy. Instantaneous. Instantaneous, bro. Wow. And the one thing I'd say, and I shout all my doctor friends, I've got a lot of doctor friends, I have very high respect for them. One thing I say to, to I, I often say, is that, um, I don't know if any of you had an appendix um, taken, but mm -hmm. if you have an appendix problem, appendix pain, um, people describe it as one of the most worst pain you can ever had, right? Mm -hmm. You can never have. And they have an operation to remove it. Mm -hmm. But bro, um, if you have an appendix removed, no one can see it. Right. But of me, what I do, you can see it. Yeah. In instantaneously. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I was even talking to my barber. Like, if someone sees your shape, we go, yo, yo, bro, like, who trimmed you? Yeah, like, yeah, oh. yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like uh, me. We see you as well. <laughs> I, see, I know you brought that up. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> see this guy, yeah? We had the, we had the uh, WhatsApp call, video call. Yeah. This guy was in his durag. This guy is serious. <laughs> I said, this guy is serious, bro. This guy, I said, bro, this guy is serious, bro. Because, you know, what? I lost my waves a little bit way back here, but then I'm not a few Yeah, no, no, I can see. Back a little I bit. I can see. A little I bit. See. I said, yo, I'm going to pick up a few from this brother. <laughs> That's it. 
Yeah. <laughs> what happens is that even went to an event. I think the, the composers event on the Good. weekend, and um, someone said to me, "Oh, oh Kev, because you done my TV, so and so wants to see you." Mm. And it's like it's a walking CV advert. Walking CV. It's a walking CV, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the kind, of, and that's how I can talk a bit about more a bit about that. But I'll start that journey there. But for personally, mm. it was tricky um, coming up because growing up um, in Fort Neath Credden, mm. um, it's it's not the easiest place to live. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, got a bit of trouble when I was a, a young boy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? How young are we talking? <laughs> Teens. Okay. You know, got myself involved in a couple of mix-ups. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know how it is, you know what I'm saying? People, different schools and different ends and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Situations happen and do you know what I mean? You get, you get, yourself, involved, you get yourself involved in a few madnesses. And um, well, why do you? Well, question. Why did you feel like you needed to get involved? Deeper ones. You know what? It's crazy because it's your friends, isn't it? So, like the, the your friends that you hang around in school, mm. just say like you, um, um, just say like you you still hang around them on the weekends, and if something happens to one of them, you naturally well, truly, you naturally want to be like, yo, that's my friend. Yeah, you want to yeah. protect or help yeah. so assist my friend. And from that, that snowballs into other things because mm. such and such and such happens to them. It's only gonna take a bit of time when they've it happens to you. They're like, okay, do you get what I'm saying? How are you doing that to my friend? Do you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. And then it becomes a big thing. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Michael, and um, it's crazy because I remember in year eight when I was in year eight, that's the first time I got rushed or beaten up, mm, mad bro. by about 20, 20 men. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, what? I say 10, 15, man. You know what it was? It's like, you, 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 you imagine it, it's crazy. Bro, bro, it was crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, it's so mad because that was the first proper beef that mm -hmm. I had. So we went to a went to a house party and then some of my friends, there was a big group of us, about 15 of us, and then most of them left. There was a couple of us there. And I had an argument with one, one guy mm -hmm. in the party and it was always like, them things like, oh, you're staring at each other, like, what, 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 that kind of thing. And then we had mutual friends, so that kind is of... Is he eight or...? Sorry? Is, is this year eight? Yeah, yeah, bro. Wow. And then that kind of got stopped. Mm. But when my friends had left now, there were a few of us, and then it kind of happened, like, during, it kind of happened again. And then, but before now, I was just getting rushed by bear, man. Mm. And um, it's crazy because later on, I then called my friends and then we linked up and we went to one of their houses and then... You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Kind of, you know what I mean? Got, got a bit sticky, a bit slightly, but it was, so nothing made made up, but we managed to kind of go there and kind mm -hmm. of be like, yo. But it's crazy because years later now, that same guy, first of all, was my patient. What? He's a friend. What? And he, he does um, building work and oh. we had a damp issue in our practice. Yeah. He came and done the damp works. Are you serious? Bro, pardon me. Looked after me. I looked after him. Yeah, bro. When we talk on a different level, talk about property, yeah, business, yeah, 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 mature stuff, man. Mature stuff. Yeah, and it's mad to know that I had a situation. Yeah, yeah. With my man, you yeah. know what I'm saying. I know that. That's what, bro. When the Bible says, like, not to Bible bash, but <coughs> when a man's ways please the Lord, yeah. his enemies will be at peace with him. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, bro, it's mad. Mm. And some other people I've had a couple of madnesses with. They're my patients now. The thing is, it's mad because before, if you get rushed, you get like a couple tools and, and whatever. Yeah. But now it's knives. And it's mad to say that, bruv, if it was to happen now, someone could have got mm -hmm. stabbed. You know what oh, so saying? back then, just like just fists and stuff. Fists. Mm. And then a couple, boom. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, a couple yeah. of things. But like now, bro, it's it's peak now. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So, but bro, it, it, it's crazy. So, and, and that's the thing. After something like that, just, uh, just for someone being, just like someone who's just trying to protect their friend, that could be their life, bro. Damn. That could be their life down a dream for just a, a mistake, bro. Bro, there was a time, Big yeah? mistake. Do you know Credden 45th Street? I don't know if you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Bro, I couldn't walk for about three years. Man, could they be on there? That's trauma. Brother. That's trauma, you know? That's, oh. No, that's danger, bro. A bit of both. Yeah, trauma, <laughs> bro, trauma bro. danger. Wow. Yeah. Only you know your mum tells you, oh, go and get... Bro, yeah. Yeah. speak, bro. I can't. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't even know, too. Bro, yeah. that's her heart. No, bro, that's know. her heart. Mummy, can't, I, mommy, I can't go. I can't go, bro. <laughs> she's like, why? Bro, do you know what I'm you saying? Know what I mean? like, yeah. I mean, like, going back home from school, like, you know, you have to go through certain ways, and you know what I'm saying? Bro, it was peak, bro. So, um, yeah, but... One of the major points on the personal one, so 
we got kind of involved in the back and forth. Mm. It went on for time because, you know, I got friends that did get stabbed, mm-hmm. and you know what I mean, and it just it kept escalating, mm-hmm. es- escalating, escalating, and and um, what happened was that um, there came a time where one time uh, three I had an issue with one guy that you know we used to be friends actually, but we had a situation, mm. and then what happened? His cousin called me who I who I knew as well, and he said, "Raw oh, Kev, like." That that man used to call me Daps because my surname, yo, Daps, or oh, oh, what happened? Da, 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 da. I was like, yo, whatever, whatever. I was like, hype up the phone. I said, stupidly enough, I said, come to my yard, man. If you look or really honest, come, come. Family house. Family house, bro. Because we all knew where each other was. Uh-huh. Bro, if, you, like, if you're really on this, if you're really on this, come. Like, that's whatever. Bro. <laughs> they came. Bro. I saw, I thought, boom. It was just like, my, me, me and him were going to scuff it out. Yeah. So I thought, boom. And then what happened was that literally 45 minutes later, I see three cars pull up. What? I said, wow. Wow. Bro, that's a big thing though there about man's pride. A man's pride would do anything, you know. Bro, if you, quite, bro, if you ever t- make a man do something, they'll do it. Like, well, I've, got, I've got a friend of mine, right? Mm. Um, Like, a purely a friend, by the way. Purely a yeah. friend. And every time she says to me, oh, Rob, like, um, I know you won't apply. I know you won't apply back to me by tomorrow. My manly pride, like I have to apply back by today. I have to now. So if you tempt a man and tell him come, then he will come. Yeah, yeah. Just our principle, our man. I don't know. It's, I think there's something within us. Yeah. Our pride is like we can't let him, we can't let someone do us like that. No. So he so he he said he he said yes to the invitation, bro. And you talk about pride. I tell you what happened. So I come outside and then and then outside my house, there's like a window that looks onto the street. I see the three cars pull up and then you ask yourself, do I go? Do I come out? If I don't come out, would they run up in my house? Mm. At the time, my brother was very young then, time, got a little brother was very young, so thinking, parent, my mum, brother. Calculate. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, calculate then, for real. Yeah. No, I'm gonna lie to you, I had a hammer. Mm. And I thought, if I come out of the hammer, it would be an inflammatory situation. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like, oh, mm. So I thought, cool, let me just come out and see what they're saying. So, imagine I still came up because making your pride. Mm. I can't say, oh, man, pulled up on daps and nothing up. Yeah. And they come out, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't say that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And I come out still. So, but is this your eight still? No, no, no. This is now year cars. 11. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were your eight of cars. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Is, this, yeah. is this before? Okay. In terms of a time scale, yeah. Is this before you went and you shadowed the GP? No, no, no. So, you know, you know what's mad, yeah? Even though. Um, oh, there's a Hannah Montana thing, bro. You were double laugh. Double laugh, bro. Yeah. Hannah Montana thing, bro. bro. The worst man, thing was, bro. <laughs> man was on my books, bro. You know, yeah. man, one of them was in school. Oh. Man's on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that doctor thing was. Serious. In, that was embedded in my. Mm, 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 mm. And for me, it was way to get out of the hood. Yeah. Mm. Okay. The only way man's going to get out of the hood is that, bro. Do you know what I mean? School, education. Education, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And that came from, like, man's upbringing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But outside, when you're stepping outside now, it's a different situation. Oh, bro, imagine if you got taken. Imagine your life got taken, bro. Bro, it's peak, bro. Yeah. You know it's mad? <laughs> I remember one of my friends, um, one of my friends, a situation happened with him. Mm. So then my boys, this was in 11, my boys drove to my yard and went to get picks on from me and they left. Like, Yo, we're going to pull up on them man. we know where them men are. So we're going to step. Mm. I said, bro, man's got GCSEs. That's tomorrow, bro. Exam. Wow. Bro, man, you know, you're not, you're not on this. I said, but man's on it, but, you know, let me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just pattern this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man's on it. It's exam, yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, bro, man's been killing my brains for this. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there was a little bit of situation between my brethren because it's like, bro, man didn't go and back ride it. out. Yeah. Back it. You know what I mean? Because, do you know what I mean, situation. Yeah. But bro, I end up getting an A. Come on. You feel me? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, man. But... But guess what, bro? If you didn't, go, if you if you want that scene, that could have been a jail case. Or it could have been an M, bro. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Different letter, man. Bro, Different letters, bro. You know what I mean? So it's like, and it doesn't take a lot for something crazy. Bro, to it happen. doesn't take a lot, bro. It, it doesn't take a lot. Like we know situations, bro, where people have got beaten up and then the person has died. Mm-hmm. And you know that's not certain man's intention. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? But um, but yeah. So back to the story now. So, bro, like. 
three cars pulled up. I came outside, and then when it, there was a verbal back and forth, and I think I think God was in this because the guys didn't jump me or rush me. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Wait, I think is Mumsy in the house. Mumsy in the house, and I tell you the story. So imagine that. So, um, what am I saying to you? So the three cars came outside. Mm-hmm. Then the brother that was this, that I had a problem with came. So I was like, "Yo, what, 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 what are you saying?" Da, 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 da. What I did is he kept on doing this. Mm-hmm. But I was really clocking what he was doing. I was just like, "Yo, like, do you know what I mean?" And I just thought, you know what? If I'm gonna get rushed, I must go out. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. At least man can say, "Man came out." Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then what happened? To fast forward, then bro, my mom come out now. Oh wow, bro. Mum comes, she's like, what's happening? Mum being hysteric, no gun, you know. Kevin, you don't want to kill me, you don't want to kill me, you don't want to kill me now. I said, Mum, this is not the time. But But thank God she came though. What happened? My mum held my hands and then pushed me back towards my house, my back towards the house to basically bring me inside. Yeah. When my mum did that, the guy pulled out like a a kosh. It's like the police use when you do that yeah, extends, yeah, yeah. bro. Okay. My mum being there, the guy hit me. They hit my mum, hit me. So I got a mark. Oh yeah. Yeah. Damn. So, and I felt to. I didn't feel. I think I just kind of tripped, stumbled, and then we were just fighting. In front of my mum. Yeah, for the mum. Then my mum then tries to go to neighbours to, to call police and then whatever. My mum just speak to calling my uncle saying need help. My mum's mom is hysterics. So I'm just like fighting the guy now. And then what happens is that I then pull his hood over his head and I start, I take his thing, I start hitting him with his thing now. Yeah. Hitting him, hitting him, hitting him. He tries to go back to the car, pull him over, hitting him, hitting him. What's everyone else doing in the back? Are they just standing there? They're standing there because I think, because I was so confident to say come to my house, they must have thought that I must have, I'm coming with people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. That's so what, I could have got jumped. Respect Yeah, but respectfully, they were, they were like, guys were on this, but I think they would say, rah, we would, and they kind of knew someone, the oldest that, you know what I mean, that kind of watched over man, so mm-hmm. it was like, we're just here just in case, like, yeah, yeah, anything yeah. kind of pops off. Because mm-hmm. the way it comes, I said, yeah, come to the house. It was a very stupid thing that I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, it's like, and then when um, the guy went back to the car, like, oh, give me, like, give me the, the thing. I said, no, no, no. And this time blood was kind of coming out of my head. Obviously, adrenaline and I went into, um, I went to the hospital and then, um, then I got um, stitches. Mm. It's funny because one of our big uncles comes and he goes to me, he was in there, I said, Kevin, you know life, like, listen how you do like, life, you're supposed to have like, yeah, uncle, I hear you, hear you, I hear you. Then I get a phone call. Yo, damn man, damn man, yo, come now, come yeah. now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I'm like, oh yeah, uncle, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Phone, you're, you actually, you're actually proper living a double life, bro. bro wow. Peak, bro. But that was a big, big, big thing for me. And then, um, what do you learn from all of that, bro? Mm. I learned from the roads that it's not like, the people who are more dangerous are the people who got nothing to lose. People I learned that from the other side who we had problems with and people that I was hanging with that the people that were really on this, that they they were like, they've got nothing, nothing to, to lose. lose, bro. And when, when, when you're, when you're, when you have a problem with someone like that, it's a big deal, bro. And you're also you, sad. I oh, say, oh, things are interesting about what you said is number one, like you said that you wanted to get out of the hood, but you would the, the double life you were living had a Montana. One of them was like you're trying to get out of there. The other one is gonna keep you. Right Ooh, back there when you started. bro. And then the other thing is that I was gonna say as well the environment, because right now we've already talked about the environment and the people that you're around, like the people you're very very close with, like everyone you've mentioned. They 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 have some sort of excellence or some sort mm, of success, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> no surprises, you're just opening up a shop in yeah, yeah, opening yeah, up a yeah, practice yeah, yeah. central London, yeah, like yeah, just around yeah. the corner. Do you yeah, see what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. But then back then your environment was doing something a little bit different and guess what you were doing? Something a little bit different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people that are watching this, please, 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 we are always talking about environment, but if you're, if there's a time to listen, it's now. Come on. I don't care what age you are, environment is super important. Come on. It's it's, it's, um, it's crazy because, Mm. bro, when I think about it, the problem, the madness is that I've been in, the little bit of madness is I've been involved in, 2% is caused because of me. The rest were like, your friends who get involved and you just have to back it. Mm. Bro, I had situ- mad situations that, oh, 
such such happened to this brethren who went to this estate in this area. Thank so we're gonna go run up in there. Yeah. Thinking, yo, run up in another ends. Yeah. Like it's, too much. it's like, but you're dragged in, but and then that's when. Do you know what's interesting about that as well? But now it might be a deal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Me, me, me. Tony and and Bill. Bro. But I don't know if you've got any friends called Tony and yeah, Bill. Yeah, but yeah. We're, we're about to jump in on this property. Trying to trying to get in. What you want? Ten percent? Bro, it's crazy. It's it's the environment same is thing, everything. Bro. Environment, you're so bro. That's so good. Environment, everything. Like, you could be one environment whereby you're getting dragged to potentially your death, and you're, you could be another environment now. You'll be dragged to your future, to bro. destiny. Mm, that's right, deep. Bro. I want to say something too. In in, in, in uh, to piggyback, piggyback what you said, bro. You're living a double life, bro. And the law of intestinality states that if you put your heart into something, you're moving to that in that direction, right? But because you're living two lives, bro, like your heart of your like your heart wants to move forward. So your soul wants to move forward, but your heart's kinda like stuck in the world, bro. So bro, it was hard, bro. bro I can imagine. Crazy, bro, it's crazy because it came to a point where this is not about um I it came to a proper crossroads because it's not about like our friends and this is that it's like raw. Are you really on this? Because the levels it got to, bro, you know, certain tools and certain things without me being overly thing, certain things, I've seen certain weapons and certain things thinking, yo, the uh, level uh, it's is heavy. Like, do you it's really heavy. Be involved in this? Some like, people carrying certain things. Yeah. Thinking, raw. Wow. Man, here's cool. about the man seeing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why Man's face? carrying. Yeah, thinking, yeah, yeah. You know, all that. So it was pushing to a certain level. And then the life changing moment for me yes. was that I went to went to another house party and there was about thirty of us. Mm. Yeah. Have you not do you not learn about house parties, bro? Like <laughs> bro, but you know what? It's a motive. Isn't it's it? a motive. And the how old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, the love yeah. all, bro, man. Serious. You know what I mean? Girls. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Hundred. And first of all, even to say that my my year was so bad at school that the whole year got kicked out. What? Oh, right. Yeah. What school is it? St. Mary's. St. Okay, right, St. Mary's, yeah. <laughs> The whole school yeah. left early start to leave, bro. That's deep, though. But we were so mad that I remember <laughs> um, I had an exam in, I had an exam in the morning mm. and then some guys had problems with heard that I was in school. But obviously, after the exam, I left. They came for man, or came for me, sorry. <laughs> business man, man. <laughs> <laughs> they came for me at lunchtime mm. yo where are you we're outside of the... I was thinking my man's not there bro mm. no we're outside we're not... I want to come chat to you bro they were kind of come and do man something mm. really you know I mean? but my man just had the exam and I'm like, do you know what I mean? I was thinking yeah. oh, do my exam go home not knowing that do you know what I'm saying that's how a peak it was but anyway Damn. the um the last um yeah the last the kind of turning point for me was yeah, we went to a house party, it was 30 of us, and we got confronted by about like, let's say about 40, 50, man. So about 20 of us, and and um, then it all kicked off. It all kicked off, and then um, then what happened, we must have, there's one guy we must have had a problem where we chased, he came to our school, we, we chased him, us obviously he's looking for revenge. Mm. So, listen, so, as things were getting peaked, one of my brethren's go, Kev, let's just, let's, let's, let's dust, let's bounce. I said, bro, can't bounce now, bro. Mm. Come on, getting too deep. Getting too deep. Like, mm. man, we don't hit that wall. We pulled up, but that man just run. Mm-hmm. Before you know it, it was down to four, bro. Mm. I said, "What do you mean down to four? Like all, all the guys it's like cut, bro. Cut, bro. Oh, so everyone cut. Mm. Everyone cut four of us, bro. Cause I, think, I feel my brother said, no. Obviously, you feel you're shook, but yeah, pride. Have a ride, pride, bro. This." Even at this part, at this, this part, it should be Mel Pride. Like, pride. I don't want, I don't want to talk about dentistry for this time. <laughs> yeah. Come again, we'll do it properly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, bro, proper because that is clearly what the main theme is. Mel like, Pride, you're talking, bro. You're Mel talking, Pride. Right. Man, well, man, will trust me. Mm. Can I just say something real quick? Yeah. yeah. See how you, bro, see how you got comfortable there. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people might not be able to relate to this right now. This, um, this, this situation. But guess what? Yeah. Pride manifests itself in so many different ways. Talk to me. It's not just about like the, the roads. It could be in business. It could be your friendships. Because mm. what is pride doing? Pride is focusing on yourself and not focusing about focusing on the lives that you can impact in future. Mm. So in this situation here, the pride of what you're, what you're going through, right? Mm. If you had died back then. The amount of lives which have been impacted through the industry, which we'll talk about next time, would not be impacted. And that is the that's the manifestations of pride. Like we have to really humble ourselves as people to understand, hold on, is this really serving my people? Is this really serving this world? Because if it's not, you have to stop it. Because it's either every every action you're doing is either serving you 
or disserving you. Yeah, 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 you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm so happy that your friend said to you, let's let's bounce. I'm not sure if you bounce, we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. But I'm so happy he said bounce because bro, your life is a blessing to so many people. And if yeah, that didn't happen, sure. bro, you might have not been here today, Trust bro. Me, bro. And pride is literally just like how you like you think of other people's opinions of you. Yeah. Because it was never a thing of like, this is against my principle. No, this is against what, because yeah. mama's going to say, oh, mm. oh, 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 he's not really on it. He's yeah. Not, yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. you said he's not really on it or like that sentence a couple of times now. Yeah. So that was clearly something that was going bro. through your mind as well. Ah, that's deep, bro. And, that's uh, deep, Jono. That's deep. Trust me. And then, How do you deal with that, by the way? The approval of man. So obviously, in the, in the Rose thing, the gang stuff, like, the gang stuff, like, a big part of it is like, okay, people's opinions of me, as John said rightfully. How did you get over or have you got over this whole feeling of not doing things for people's approval now? I've come to learn that the, a lot of successful people mm. have an I don't care attitude. Okay. Let's take this Let's take this yeah. key um, example. Yeah. Francis Ngannou. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tyson Fury. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I love boxing. I watch boxing a lot. Okay. Would you box? No, but one of my closest friend boxes. Oh, yeah, I remember you yeah, said yeah, I yeah, boxes. Yeah. Okay, what, but yeah, okay, that's what cool, thinking, cool, yeah. cool. And um, obviously I listen to a lot of... Um, boxing experts' opinions. So if there's like a fight coming up, a lot of the media, and they were saying, look, Tyson Fury's going to walk over this guy, walk over, walk over the sky, da 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 But Francis Ngannou, even though he lost, he was able to prove a lot of people wrong. Mm. And if you know the story of Francis Ngannou, of how he came from Cameroon, s smuggled his way into France. Wow. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And then he went, got into the UFC, and even how he came out of that, he... Um, he went through a lot mm. and each stage of his life he's proven people wrong mm. so you must your internal voice must be louder than the external voice come on now come on that's good you know? yeah. and that's why you must understand what God says about you yeah, yeah, yeah. or what God has spoken over your life you must uphold that because that will drown the voices of the people ah. because the people externally are only speaking from their small perspective mm -hmm. God has seen the listen the showreel of your life from yeah. beginning to end Crazy. So why must I listen to those that are on the outside? Yeah, they don't even know you, bro. Do you know? Yeah. Don't know me. Bro. They don't even know you, bro. That's why, like, bro. Even, 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 even down to when I run my business, yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember one patient goes to me. Oh, there was a situation at my practice where we had a new staff member. She didn't do something right. You know, I mean? it's a new situation, and it was it's a new situation for her. She got something wrong, which then led to a miscommunication, and the patient had has gone elsewhere mm -hmm. so what i did i wanted to contact that patient not to beg her to come back because she then wrote to us and said she's gone elsewhere my concern was when she comes back my concern rather was that what did we do wrong from your perspective mm -hmm. to make sure we don't make that mistake again else, yeah. do you understand mm -hmm. so i'm very sure and confident of what i produce bro mm -hmm. so if you're not happy with what i produce you can go elsewhere mm -hmm. i don't have a problem but i'm very confident because on the, on, the, on the flip side i've also seen that people who have left me to go elsewhere mm -hmm. travel to places like turkey mm -hmm. then they come, come back, back. <laughs> <laughs> bro i'm a strong you must believe in your own source bro. absolutely yeah. if you don't believe it how can you get people to believe in your source bro? Yeah. But bro i'm i'm just i'm super curious about the mindset switch bro because you went from a point where you were as John rightfully said, very swayed by the opinion of man. Yeah. To the way you are. Where, where was the switch over, bro? Yeah. And the, was was it the year eleven bit? The year eleven bit, and I'm coming to that. It's, oh, it's, yes. It was. It's it's the it's this cataclysmic moment what oh, happened in my life. Mm -hmm. Serious. What does that mean? We need to get a purpose. <laughs> I'm gonna put that right there. <laughs> cataclysmic. Cataclysmic. Bro, I'm gonna say that monumental again, the monumental point in my life, bro, was this, bro. So we went to this house party, and then yeah, so my boy goes, oh, you can see things were popping off. Yeah. Yo, bro. Let's, I said no, 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 bro. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. Let's just see how this thing plays out. But before you know it, you know, like you hear, you know, in them game shows, you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. The you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Eighteen man left. Even one of the guys, truth be told, had a long knife mm -hmm. that day, and even showed me mm -hmm. before we went to the motive. So I was like, okay, cool. Like, so we're good. We're good. Yeah. That brother. Bounce, yeah. Bounce. Wow. So bro, it's like wow. Then um the guy the guy goes to me, oh, that's what you're saying. Your what, friend or someone uh, else? The, the guy who had problems with you. Yeah, yeah. What are you saying now, cuz? What are you saying? Me stupidly enough, pride again I said, Boy, it is what it is. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. Oh, bro, do you know how bad it is, bro? <laughs> wait, I keep wait, a... can we, bro, I wanna even sorry, bro. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 please. Bro. Bro. <sighs> so the me you're saying, yo, we're good, I'm easy. <laughs> it is what it is you know but it's what it is bro imagine your mum bro bro 
Damn. Was that going through your mind? Bro. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that's a good question. Was that going through your mind? A lot of um, Somalians, there was a lot of Somalians like, yeah. speaking the language. I'm thinking, yo, my heart was... Because you don't know what they're saying, bro. <laughs> I'm thinking, it's going to be Pete. Yeah. So then, um, then these guys, then the guy goes, oh, what, what? He said, what? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Yeah. Then one of my boys goes, oh, yo, no, no one's touching daps. And then, uh, then, bro, you know, like, street fight, you know when, you know, stars. You yeah, know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, when you say someone punched your lights out, yeah, who you know, bro, man got a bang. I just, I see lights, bro. Yeah, bro, man just getting, and then they then start rushing, man. I was like, wait, what? Bro, you got rushed again? My, yeah, for about thirty man. No, I thought you bust case this time. Nah, bro. No, sorry, watching the movie, bro. What? I'm running, I'm just running, yeah, running, falling on the floor. They're rushing. Hey, good form though, bro. Yeah, no, good form. form. Yeah. They're, they're back there. After one time I was running and then there was like um, there's like a sign, you know, like a road sign. Mm-hmm. It was behind, it was in front of a brick wall, bro. Mm. I ran, I got trapped. Oh. My guy, I got trapped, bro. I did, sh- wow. bro, for a good free form. Do you know, bro? Free to get being up for free form, that is a long time, bro. <laughs> long time. That's like a round in boxing, bro. Absolutely, bro. that's a long time. <laughs> they have stoppages, bro. Bro, they have stoppages in, in the first <laughs> minute, bro. Sometimes, man. Bro, you get that for peak. a long time. Bro. Ain't no stoppages in real life, I'm man. Scared. Yeah, there's so much on the road. No. Bricks, bro. Man, we're just breaking you. Bro, 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 I got another. Another on the opposite side. Bro, goodness gracious. Fam, it's crazy because. And by the way, all the time, you're still a good student. Still a good student, bro. Man's waiting for my GCSE results, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, you know, that, sum, that summer's long too, you know. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> like, by the way, everyone, everyone is not part of England because obviously I understand this is a global podcast. Yeah. Bro, in year 11, we do something called GCSEs, right? Like exams. We finished around like June. Before, so this is this is just before we get to high school. Wait, high no, no, school. This is high school. No, right? no, no it's junior high and then senior, senior high. Yeah, senior before high. We senior high, yeah. So it's like, but bet- we finished in June and we were off from June to September. Mm-hmm. Bro, what are we doing for the, all those? That's like three months or just doing nothing. Bro, and you know what? Anybody who knows road life, yeah, been knows that, bro. Summer's when things pop. Mm. Yeah. Block pop. Well, everyone's everyone's gas, bro. Everyone's gas. Yeah. Everyone's yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. So summers are long, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everyone knows, bro. Summers is it's, it's, it's a long thing. So, yeah, bro. So, and it's mad because when I went to the hospital, especially the first time I went, and I went to get for a head scan and that, even when I go to the my GP, I can still see, like, you know, my records all on there. But, mm. but man had stitches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's funny because when I was in my second year, uni as a dentist, um, we were learning how to stitch. Mm. And I think, Kira. My nose house system when my head oh. got stitched, I sp- yeah, twice, sp- yeah, mad, bro. Your your experience to most people who are on the course with you must have been polar opposites, mm. bro. Polar, polar opposites. bro. And you know what? Going to uni was my because we went. I was in Plymouth, mm-hmm. and before like you know, all I was talking like yo yo yo. That's all I knew. Yeah, like yo, boom, dear, this that, that, that. But bro, being around different people, environment again, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it forced me to switch it up. Damn. So I know that you know, if I speak it to a certain man. Man knows how to. Yeah, yeah, adapt, you know, cold adapt. switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, if I speak it to, if I'm certain business meetings, or I just know how to switch it up and know how to adapt. Mm. You must read the room that you're in mm. and act accordingly. Mm-hmm. Come on. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's one of my, I learn how to switch up my vocab. Speak, you know what I mean? And know how to present yourself well. Because also, in those situations, you want the few, you know, brothers that, you know, you're in those, that, that kind of, Spotlight, you know. Yeah. I remember even down to bro, we're about to close this business deal on the practice. Come on, man. And bro, and recently, recently, mm-hmm. in the, the past few days, and the banks playing up. You know, mm-hmm. Kira, the the bank that man is dealing with. You know what I mean? It's a high street bank, well known bank. You lot should be patting up, and it's a it's a it was a big mess, bro. And I was thinking, yo, in my heart, I was thinking, yo. This was before you just pull up to the bank. So, yo, what's the problem? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's get, the long thing? Yeah, yeah, get one like, of them. Pattern up. Yeah. But obviously, businessman now. Businessman now. It has to be a bit. <laughs> the moment there was a situation, they sent one an email for us to sign the send one one form five times. Wait, so hold it. So, so you got you got one form sent to you five. What did you complete no, so, it every time? Yeah. So signed it and they said, oh, you didn't do this properly. Mm. Do that properly. Oh, so, so like nitpicking. Nitpicking. Mm. I think there's someone there don't know that, bro. This is a life changing moment for man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're playing by telling me sign yes, and I'm saying I to the point one time, because it's a forty page document, but you signed oh. the last, the last, yeah, yeah, yeah. the thirty nine page, yeah. So I remember I took a picture, and I and sent it. Is this okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I just sent that bit 
no, Kevin, you've got to send the whole doc. Bro, I was thinking, bro, like, in them situations, but you know, when they talk, when, when they, and thank God for my business partners because yeah. they've got different temperaments to me. Yeah. So when they send that email, I just intentionally took 24 hours to respond because knowing me, bro, I'll be like, Yo, are you? <laughs> As in, you need to cool the, down, the old cool Kevin, because cool yeah. yeah, yeah. that's yeah. that's where it comes from. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like, look at me. Why is Doctor Kevin? <laughs> is he giving a threat? To <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but uh, that's that's a real thing, though. Bro, you know when you when you call certain things, your calls will be recorded. You know what I mean? Bro, so you know what? Nah, man, it's chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get done. Yeah. That's what I, I I prayed one time. I prayed last week, and oh, God told me, you know what? Just be cool, yeah. be patient, you know, it will happen. Mm -hmm. And because of that word, that Rima word, yeah. man stuck to the word. Mm -hmm. But if it wasn't for that, bro, mm. where's the office? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? What's the problem? Yeah. Damn. Do you know what I'm saying? But you know, God is good again. Amen. Amen. Do you know what? That's we don't have too much time left. And we're going to do this again, by the way. Yeah, I feel like, as John said, as we both said, right, this episode here is about manly pride, right? Mm. And, and environment as well. And environment. What's so powerful about what you said there, bro? Like, even though you've been renewed, you've been changed, there's still parts of us, the residues of us, which are still there. Paul calls it in the Bible, um, he calls it in the Bible, what's the word? Um, the fall in our flesh. Yeah. And I believe the fall, and basically for everyone who's, who doesn't understand what this is, the fall in the flesh is like kind of a part of you which is there. How does it keep you humble? Humble, yeah. Because if you, like, if, if like you went from the rose, you changed your life, and that was all the past now, where the God can't get the glory in that. No, no. Because it's still there, a part of it. You can still say that, share that story with like an understand not with an understanding, with like memory of the fact it's still in you, but you can't you can't pass that situation, if that makes sense. Yeah. So the point I'm trying to say is like even though you've changed, there's still parts of you which you still need help from the Lord. To yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. And powerful. even it leads me to my next point mm. about when that happened when I got beat up and I was really at a crossroads because it's mm -hmm. like, do I get them back? That escalated. Because it escalated, and I, and what people don't know is that I used to be a DJ as well. All oh, right. Yeah. So back what in was the your, days, what's your DJ name? DJ Daps. DJ Jeez. Daps. Okay. Isn't that a DJ Daps? No. <laughs> Probably not. You're, you're junior. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah. So then back before people used to come to my house and MC, and we used to make tapes back in the oh, day. Okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Dope. everyone, so even people I had problems with, there was a, the once friends before. Mm -hmm. So everyone, so I was thinking, right, if I then retaliate, then they come back to me asking them thinking about my mom my brother at the time who i live with so mm. it's like you know they get dragged in there and, and, and you know when we was hearing stories and you know people get run up in people run up in people's houses and stuff and they want that happen to me so i have to really think about it and then what i didn't thought so that whole summer i lit when i got rushed i said you know i'm not with my i'm not gonna hang around with um my friends i was with anymore and that you summer that decision. yeah mm. i laid low also because bro like the people who have problems with that have done things to like, oh, right, like oh, where's that? Mm. You know what I mean? Looking for me, you know what I'm saying? So I intentionally laid low that summer. And um That's a question as well, if you don't mind me asking your dad, what was he like? Is he is So my my mum my mom and uh, my dad separated um when I was five. Okay. My brother little brother was two. Um but my dad's local so you know we got got a relationship good relationship. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And then how did that kind of do you think that it affected you at all? It did. Um but you know what? And personally, you know, obviously parents have their their own situations mm -hmm. in it and obviously kids are caught in the middle of it. Mm. You know, and as you grow up, you know, you know, we go through things, you know, mm. and even being in being like the road and all that kind of stuff, that didn't let me have resentment towards my pops got for it. certain things. Mm. But when I gave my life to Christ, I wiped that away Good. and said, you know what? Me and my dad are gonna have a good relationship. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And whatever has happened, it's happened. And let's move forward. And I've got other brothers, I've got a sister. You know, me and my brothers got close. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So and even when they've had problems, you know, man's even shown up for them when they had problems, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And man's come for them, do you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. um so yeah, so even though yeah, I grew up in a single parent household, but you know, I made an intentional decision to still maintain the relationship because the Bible does say honor your mother and your father. That's mm -hmm. so good, bro. And it's very mature of you as well. Very mature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to. So, um, yeah, when that situation happened and I laid low, that's when I then went to sixth form. Mm -hmm. So imagine I got suspended in my se secondary school, mm. and then, but when I, I had a problem, when I had a problem, I said to my deputy head at the time, 
that just affect my application for my six four fifty because <laughs> obviously me is the one that use meds to think. He goes, no, no, no. I said, cool. So I just spent the time doing coursework. Yeah. Um. But yeah, when I went to sixth form, and then I met a brother. I met um, a guy. So there was a. Excuse me to say, it was a white Caucasian guy, mm-hmm. you know, and it was a very kind of middle class sixth form. Mm. It was a new world for me. Mm. Wait, do, you, wait, do you mind saying which one it was? The Archbishop Tennyson's. Archbishop, right, cool. I don't want mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And then um, this guy, but we were always having when we were doing the A levels, but this guy knows all the answers. Mm. The smartest guy in the room. Mm. So meet me, I think, yo, I got to know this brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Environment, like, environment. But mm. I started moving with him, and then I remember he goes to me. You know, he's like, Kev, what do you want to do? Because obviously it was all the same subjects. We did biology, chemistry, physics, and maths. And I remember you said you like science. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then um, he and he goes, right, I want to be, I want to be a doctor. I said, right, me too. Mm. Then he goes, you wanted to be a doctor at the time. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then he goes, oh, why? And I said, why? What's your motivation? He said, oh, he wants to become a medical missionary. So he wanted to kind of go to other countries and mm. spread the word of God. But wow. Um, also use medicine as a way to do it. Mm. So why do you want to do it? I said, bro, forget that. I might want to get out of the hood, bro. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we became close. And over time, he introduced me to God. Wow. Crazy. He introduced me. And I remember... Was it intentionally? No, it was natural. And I've mm. seen where he lives. <laughs> and I remember was he, he was wealthy? Like, huh? Was he wealthy? He came from middle class. Mm. Um, home, and he... And what, 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 what kind of astounded me at the time is like he was with... A girlfriend, a Christian, you know, at the time, they were together for like two, three years, and he had and I had sex with her. I was thinking, my brother, yeah. <laughs> like, you're okay, you're okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The girl was alright as well. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> How is that possible? Yeah, yeah. we just. It was pray. young too, by the way. Yeah. It was young yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's we wow. just praying. God helps me. What does that mean, bro? Yeah. What does that mean? Environment. 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 Bro, it's, it's literally environment. But then you, there was something in your mind saying, look. I need to be in this environment because this is the environment that I need to go for. And I need what that brother's got. And that's the thing. That's got, the thing yeah. where many Christians go wrong, you know. Mm. They would keep what they say, give it out to Christ, give it out to Christ. But there's no fruits. Mm. Yeah, the reason why... Exemplary way of living. The reason why you were so attracted to him was because of his fruits. And that's why for a hey, every... Like, bro, our, our fruits will help people come to Christ. Not because yeah. we're amazing people, but because... There's something in these guys which are different. Yes. There's something, something about you which is different. Different source. Yeah. Yeah. I, can't, it's like, different. I, I see your work, but there's something behind the scenes. What's going on? Mm. And that's what you tell them about Christ, just like your friend did yeah. for you. Yeah, bro. I man gave my life to Christ, bro, and and then um, yeah, bro, and that's and and I remember, I remember one time I was with, I was with credit with my uncle, still kind of laying low, you know. Six one times. Six six one times, man. Mm. Obviously, the situation happened in the summer. Mm-hmm. My uncle wanted to follow him and to cry him. And then, listen, I see bear of them and I had problems with. I said, yo, mm. it's about to go down. Mm. With uncle there. Uncle there. Man's just going to get packed in. Mm. It's like, boom, it's like. Years later. No, this no, is like six, six, months, six, months. six months. Because, oh yeah, year 11 to six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just down the road, yeah. Bro, I see them. They see me. Nothing happened. I'm loud. Grace of God, man. Grace of God. Mm. Grace of God. God's grace. And <laughs> I crazy. remember another situation. We went to, there's a place called Tinsel Town. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Back I remember day, that. Back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened to that? Sorry. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Go for it. I was with my Christian brothers. Mm. My Christian brothers. You know what I mean? My Christian brothers. Mm-hmm. Christian brothers. Yeah. Cool, like, cool guys. Cool guys. Mm. Cool guys. I'm here, bad commotion. And this was like around midnight, man. And then I was like, oh, oh. And the security at the time, and and then people start drifting in. It was the guys that I problems with. I say, yo, these boys are not gonna back it. So mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's 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 just it is what it is. Mm. And bro, fortunately, and I think my little brother was with me. Was, was one of my little brothers was, was with me. My little brother was with me at the time. Yeah. Mm. And I thought like, yo, like, if anything's gonna happen, no one should touch my little brother because mm-hmm. I'll just go mad because mm-hmm. it was little at the time. So it was little at the time. And um, I just thought, boy, I'm just going to scrap. Because these guys, I can't depend on you. Because we're Christian Brothers Church, but it's not. Yeah. Gonna... And luckily, I see one of the guys, when the main guy, and goes, yo, that's you cool. Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Bro, I thought. So, ha- had they been seeing your change of life, these people at the time? Or not really? But they just ain't <laughs> seen you? They, say, they ain't really seen, man. Mm. And when they, 
see they could tell man's a like different thing now. I'm just like, yo, it's cool. But your vibe was different then. My vibe was different. Interesting but, that. But and you're around different environment. Different as well. environment. Mm. But I just thought, yo, man's caught slipping now. Do you know what I mean? It's not that I'm with a few dons to say, yo, but the fellas, it's on. It's like, bro, you might go to the car. But I just get, you might just hold the beat in <laughs> Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But nothing happened. And my whole point is that, like, when and I made the, and I made the decision, mm -hmm. God literally protected me and carried me through. The law, we don't call it, we call it one of the law of intentionality, bro. bro you were intentional about your change and changes. And we always say this, before you change, you first must have a desire to change. Yes. You had a desire to change and intent, and your, the law of intentionality stated that you must be protected on your journey. Yeah. You did that. So when people saw you, they couldn't touch yeah. you. Yeah. God's grace. Yeah. People. Yes. I hope you're enjoying today's episode. Jeez. This is just a small interjection. Big one. We wanted to say very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. We don't ask for anything. Nothing. And this is the only thing. Like, we, we haven't asked for anything before, but this is the only thing we're going to be asking for. Please, can they do what, Robert? Guys, if you have not already, please leave a like and a comment. Trust me, it helps us out. Help a friend, help a friend, guys. Mm. You don't know what your like or comment or share could do to help someone else's journey of purpose. I know it can help other people find these videos and help them with their lives as Come well. On. So, people, I hope you enjoy the best of the video. Big love. Let's go. You know, and from there, that's when... Um, my story of dentistry picked up because and that's where we'll leave it off <laughs> that's, that's, where, exactly that's where, we'll where we'll leave off and that was in six, that was just six in, in in like what year 12 yeah year 12 yeah so like yeah just to start in like was that freshman year or junior freshman oh, yeah freshman year yeah, senior yeah yeah yeah, yeah senior school okay yeah. senior high All before right. we close off though yeah obviously we spoke about a few things we spoke about environment we spoke uh -huh. about pride yeah. uh -huh. we spoke about even single parent households right? mm. yeah what's the biggest thing you learned in your adolescent years, which has shaped you to be the man you are today? I grew up with very humble beginnings. Mm. My mom will work two, three jobs. Mm. Certain time, my mom doing certain shifts, I have to look after my little brother, and I'm like eight years old. Wow. Mm. And your brother was how old? Uh, five. Five, okay. And I, because of certain disappointments, and I saw how financially was limited, mm. what it then birthed in me is the mindset of a hustler mm. to the point that it's a bad thing about me as well. I'm never content with what I am because mm. the minute I have reached something, I'm thinking about the next thing. Mm -hmm. so right now, we're about to close or complete on the new practice tomorrow. Wow. Congratulations. Amazing, man. But I'm like, that's done now. What's next? What's the next thing? And I'm about to, and I've actually applied to company's house to register another business. So I'm never... Satisfied. content because i've got that inbuilt spirit mentality about me i'll share one more thing first of all when i got to dental school surely i then realized that these people are not more clever than me deeper they just knew how to work the system to get there which is fine mm -hmm. but they're not much cleverer yeah and what, and what and what my uni used to do is that when you do an exam they'll rank you so already in the top one percent of intelligence of intelligence of people in the society, but they still rank you. Yeah. So if you're like weird or sixty of us, if you're number six, you feel stupid. Mm -hmm. But remember, you're top one and one percent. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm saying is that when I then qualified, I couldn't believe it, and I was in a daze for almost the first three to six months. And the reason being, and I didn't, and and I'll, I'll go to this the next step, the next um, pod, mm -hmm. uh, um, next edition of the pod. But I didn't get to dentistry first time. I failed my A levels, bro. Because when I gave my life to Christ, all hell broke out in my life, bro. Wow. Isn't that the, funny, man? The whole hell, whole, everything that broke out. Rough, I dude. failed my A-levels, bro. Yeah. So then I went to uni, did another degree. Mm. Oh. And I worked as a dental nurse for, bro, trust me. I tell you, well, yeah, bro. we're going to get into wow. it, bro. But, but and it, it's mad because when I was working as a dental nurse, mm. I see one of my boys that I used to move with, he sees me at my practice uh, where I was working as a nurse. Mm. And, bruv, the practice I was working at, bruv, they had this, you know the uniform where it's like you the woman at nail shop where they got the thing like that? And <laughs> got the thing. I look like some... It was such oh. a big milestone for me to qualify as a dentist to be called, like, doctor. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, but I said, the guys in my class, they, some of them were, like, private school all this mm. stuff like, they started here dad like two parent families yeah loving household loving you know what I mean good situation and they started here mm -hmm. I started here bro wow and we're both at here wow 
so there's something in physics called inertia, mm. which is the energy that you use to push something to get going. Mm. So the degree of energy or inertia that I use to push to get to here mm -hmm. is more than what they did. Because they didn't need to. Because yes. they need to. Mm. So if I apply that same principle mm. to something else, mm -hmm. I'm going to go further. Mm -hmm. But that's why when I get to a certain point, I'm like, what's next? What's the next thing? What's that? 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 Damn. My business partners always say, I always think at the speed of light. Because mm. <laughs> I'm thinking, guys. That's fast, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> about so many different things. Yeah, because your mind is like. Bro, my line, bro, my, my mind is like. They're with you, bro, yeah. Trust me. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Even when I said, okay. I remember when we was, <laughs> it's funny. When we was, um, when we was open, when we was going to, um, when we was um, signing the documents to, to get a loan from the bank mm. to open a practice, a bank manager said at the time, like you know, you know, you know what you can do to, to to market a practice. You know, you get it'd be lovely if you can get someone from Love Island to be one of your patients. <laughs> and, you know, yeah, bro, check, like, it, yeah, check the Instagram, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, and then bro, <laughs> man got someone from Love Island. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh wait, you, this this was before you got someone yeah, from yeah, Love Island. Yeah, yeah. Also, he told you and you took action on it like that. Yeah, he was like, he's like, oh, like you know, it would be nice if you mark because obviously we were and like, bro, I'll tell you the story next, but it was a dump bro like we yeah. started to practice from zero mm. like zero mm -hmm. like like we like from zero we had nothing you know and we started the practice and they gave us the loan shout out my business partners dr jamal mm -hmm. and k dub they big like, up dr jamal trust me they say big up you guys man if it left to me mm. the practice would be collapsed mm. but their environment they yeah. staff management because I've still got the thing like I'm a bit rough around the edges like okay. yo come on lad. yeah yeah let's just do it let's yeah, just do yeah, it yeah, yeah, like, yeah why is it not working like, like let's make it happen yeah it you're like you're like you're a builder bro yeah you're a pure builder bro that's like, we're all builders bro but sometimes when you're builders so much you forget the the five details bro, mm. I'm thinking about forget the, the let's get to it yeah 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 come on guys <laughs> yeah but they're like Kev, like this, that, even with our problems with certain staff members and stuff, how to manage it mm. and stuff. Being you know, a leader. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So, and they're amazing at that because I tell my I've been business partners with them for five years now. Wow. And we've had not, we've had differences of opinion, but we've had not one fall out. Mm -hmm. Wow. Five years. And now with our new practice, we shout out uh, Dr. Pretty Sankler. She's our next business partner for the next. What's her name, Dr. Pretty Sankler. Big up, Dr. Shout out. Her husband, Dal. A big Shout number every time. As well. mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? So there, she's our net because she said because she works with us at Dove as a dentist, and she said, "Right, she liked the our setup, and she wants to say, what do you lot think about this next practice?'" And then we just, do you know what I'm saying? You know, it's interesting. It's the same thing with your boy saying, "Oh yeah, come with it, come on, <laughs> glide with us, man." She's saying to come on a glide, but it's a different glide. Different man. glide, different bro. glide, man. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Dove so, above you, a dove above water this time, man. Yeah, last yeah, time yeah. not above water, bro. Bro. <laughs> I was drowning, bro. Yeah, you were drowning, <laughs> bro, man. My gosh. Bro, and it's mad because, bro, like, now people who are you know, had problems, even back in the year eight, people are probably, I had one of them reach out to me yesterday asking mm -mm. me questions, thinking, yo, they respect man's hustle now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and you, you don't have to be, and this whole thing about, you see, I've got this thing, personal mantra, whether you like me or not, it's down to you. I might not be everyone's cup of tea, but, you know, you will respect what I'm trying to do. Come on now. Come on now. I'm not here to get light. I'm here to make it, bro. Mm. Yeah, bro. I'm, saying, I'm not here to make it, bro. Yeah, man. If you know where man's come from, which I've shared, bro, this thing's not a joke. Mm -mm. This thing's not a joke, bro. It's so, about it. you know, we, we, we're on this. So, um, yeah, bro. So, like, that's why, like, I said, if I can make it to this level with all this issues and that I face where I come from, I look back and see. Bro, it makes sense now, bro. It makes sense. Sorry, I just had a penny drop a moment. You said off the camera, right? Or maybe, maybe, maybe say in the podcast, mm -hmm. one of your goals is to help people from poor environments or disadvantaged environments get into dentistry. Hundred percent. It makes sense now, bro. When does someone wow. no like maybe because I'm busy, or I've missed a few emails. But bro, when whenever someone's persistent in reaching me to shadow me or to learn from me, yeah. Bro, I can't say no. You can't, bro. Cause some, that was you. That was me, bro. 15, 20 years ago. That was me. And representation is important, bro. Yes, bro. When they see, when they see. Someone like myself, like, yeah, 
they, they just inspire. But I go places, yeah. Yeah. I haven't got the biggest following. Yeah. People recognize me, but wow. yo, boom, boom, boom. Do you know what I'm saying? I've got mums that come to the practice. You yeah, haven't got the biggest one, but you've got impact, bro. Bro. The same with us. Got yes. Impact, yeah. Bro. It's deeper. It's that's deep. depth. It's depth, bro. Influence is depth. Followers is vanity. Oh, that's good. Oh, <laughs> let me say that again. Let me say that again. Influence is depth. Followers is vanity. Focus on influencing your community, and trust me, lives will be impacted. And I've got this saying as well: build it, and then we'll come. Mm-hmm. Build it, and then we'll come. Promote yourself, man. Yeah, yeah. Build what you're doing. Build. Focus on the building. Do mm-hmm. it right. Lay the foundation. Come on. People will come, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Wow. That's good. And, and 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 that's so good. Sorry to cut you off, bro. Sorry, I'm back. I'm going back and forth. No. The reason why it's so important, bro, because if it is God who's giving you the vision, He has to give you the provision, bro. And the provision is the people. So, of course, if you build it with him, of course it will come to pass, bro. I was so scared when we opened our practice because because of where I've come from, Yeah, I know what it means to survive on little. Mm. You understand? So, if I'm earning money for myself, I know it's fine to survive. But I remember when we first started, we had two team members, well, two members with us who who were um, mothers of young children. Wow. And I thought, what I'm going to produce from these hands is now it's now bigger than me it's gonna help or support or benefit people and that was such a scary thought do you think about your own childhood bro because i know you said about the moms the, do you think about your own childhood yeah, with your mum 100 percent, bro deep see how bro you see how everything just comes together do you, do you understand what i'm saying absolutely it's I've, deep. I've been there as well cause i've got a team now and then i'm thinking mm-hmm. okay payroll is a real thing that's like, not a thing of because i can pay myself <laughs> <laughs> I can pay whatever I just need to pay to get by, but then the team, they have bills to pay, man. One of my closest friends, Des, I mean, big him up. I saw in his um, story, lead, he, he, I think this is a podcast, Leaders Eat Last. Mm-hmm. Leaders Eat, that's a, that's a book. Yeah. Eat, okay. Could but, be one of the 10. I yeah. Think audio book. I think it's audio book. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. He, he screenshot it. Leaders Eat Last. And it's like so true, bro. Like, I owe every month, we make sure that when you know our staff is good, then we're all right. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Um, then we pay ourselves or whatever, but we make sure our staff is hundred percent. Our staff is good. Has to be that. Has to be. You know. Um, but yeah, the mums, the mums. Yeah, bro. Like yeah, they, they, they were young, um, young mums, and you know, and it was such a scary thought because at that time, and I'll go into in the next decision, I was working two other practices, mm. and I was then working at my current practice, but I didn't see the salary for the first two years. So I was working nine to six in one of my practice, and I'm working as a dentist for someone else, and then working six thirty to nine evening, evening for your own business. Own business. And oh. what was techy for me was that as the business was growing, yeah, obviously people wanted to book more appointments, so which means I had to drop my days and hours at my paid practices and work for free. In my new practice, even though I was like, yeah, yeah, Dove Dental, bro, I wasn't earning anything at that mm. point. Do you know what I'm saying? I was living on less and less and less money till the demand got higher. Then, then, then we had a meeting business, but I said, guys, look, you know, if I have to drop this, then it means that I have to start getting salary. Then my, my business partner, Dr. Joe, he's the financial director. He looked at it and then, you know, because he's got experience and he's one of my mentors, um, one of the OGs in the game, has bought and sold practices and I had to link up with him to make this thing work. Because I also realized that um, he had experience. He had things that he bought things to the table that I couldn't have, mm. and the bank wasn't willing to lend me the money because like, you're a young dentist, fresh out of dental school. Mm. I could give you this amount of money mm-hmm. you know, for the business to fail, but because he was on board, one of the reasons why um, we was able, and I think even he even signed some documents in his back garden with the with the business manager. So environment, what's the environment, mm. environment influence impact. And um, one thing I just wanted to say off the back of that as well, we were talking downstairs when you just got here to yep. the studio and we were talking about um, what you're going through right now in terms of, you know, the, the, the new, the new, the new, um, yep. the new practice and everything yep. like that. And then one thing I said was that this is what separates the men from the boys, yep. man. Mm. Not everyone can do this. Not everyone can open one practice and two practices, one being in central London and go on to open three, four, five, ten. Not everyone can do that because not everybody's willing to go through the, the six <laughs> things that you had to sign. Not everybody's willing to have to do all these refurbishments. Not everyone's willing to take it from zero to 100 Come real on, quick man. or real fast or however long it takes. Um, bro, one thing I've learned is that if I tell you that the rent mm. that man's paying, mm-hmm. scary, bro. Mm. <laughs> the rent, 
it is very peak. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? Central or just the other one also? Central. Central. Yeah, we can imagine. It's almost triple mm-hmm. to what we're paying. Prime real estate, man. Mm-hmm. And, um, and what was peak was that when we was... <laughs> We, when we was um, saw that planning or whatever, you got to pay two or three months in advance, bro. Before you start. You know when you like, if you're to move into a rented property, you yeah. pay the month in advance. When it's a commercial, it's two, three months in advance. Yeah. And I'm sure there's other costs as well which are up front too. VAT, service charge, it is very peak. Mm. Bro, do you know what, yeah? Sorry, very quickly, bro. I'm just thinking, while you're speaking, bro, the one word coming to me right now is two things coming to me right now. One for you, bro, is latent potential and diamonds. Like, there's two clear themes throughout this whole story I'm hearing, bro. Mm-hmm. And it's, you spoke about something called inertia, you said, right? And it's interesting because the example of the dentistry schools, that you were technically behind your peers, but you were catapulted forward for your hard work and you got to the same point as them even further. And the same thing applied to your dentistry, your dentistry um, practice. For two years, you were under pressure, getting no payment. But that was that latent potential coming through, and then you catapulted off. Delayed gratification. Delayed gratification, bro. Some, bro, what? something about me. One thing about me, one quality, one quality I have. Yeah. I'm always on it for a long term. That's good. That's what my mom's told me. Um, this is me, but I went uni twice, bro. Mm. Worked as a dental nurse for one year, and seven pound an hour. Mm. Bro, me. One thing about me. I'm a long, I, I, I'm, I'm a long term. Play the long, play the long, play a long term game. And then one thing I was thinking, a word that I was thinking is pressure, man. As that's it. Pressure, that's it. That's it. What, the, what you diamonds, diamonds, yeah. Literally, so much pressure. Like there was so much pressure that you had to, you had to make it. You have to do it. And what you're doing right now, you have to make that payroll. Bro, you have to make the rent. The amount of pressure you're willing to take will determine how far you go. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. You ain't clicked in a while, but <laughs> yeah, I'm that's good. That one out. Say that again, please. The amount of pressure you're willing to take determines mm. how far you would go. Mm-hmm. Certain people, but as I'm sitting here now, the amount of things that I'm dealing with, I said, no, I have to be intentional to still be. Come on now, mm-hmm. come on now. But, and as you said, even running this podcast here, the things we had to deal with before we even, do you know what I'm saying? They it's just not, see. do you know what I mean? They don't even see it, man. But if there's certain things that, you know, we've had to deal with, some people would have broken down by then. And one thing I've learned from being uh, an employee is that not everyone is like you. Mm-hmm. you know, everyone has mm-hmm. the same makeup, yep. the same strength, the same qualities. That's it. Um, and pressure could either make diamonds or pressure can crush you. Yeah, and bust pipes. Bust pipes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's it's how well you're willing to deal with pressure. If it's financial pressure, it may be family pressure, yeah. all of these things. And sometimes in life, things come at you at once. Mm. But sometimes you need the real word of God. Mm. to keep your sustaining in the season mm. to know that there's only a certain time that this happened and I always say to myself this thing's not going to kill me mm-hmm. this, this too shall pass this too shall pass come on now I was talking to my cousin on the way he, um, he was going to church yeah oh is that who you, I saw yeah yeah yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah right yeah, okay yeah. cool and um, there's a property thing that I'm, I'm involved in and the builders are taking very long and and we're having to cover the costs and mm. paying the mortgage and mm-hmm. this that and I said, to, I was talking to my real cousin, I said, if God was able to build a temple or build a tabernacle, and when you read it, it's so descriptive, mm-hmm. this cubit long, this mm-hmm. wood, mm-hmm. acacia wood, mm-hmm. this, that, blah, 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 the gold, this, do, 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 do. You're talking about Solomon? Yeah, Solomon. Solomon, I remember, yeah. yeah. Solomon, even good tabernacle, even Moses. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you look at the specificity, yeah. specificity that, that God will use, when he's saying, do this here, do that, do that, do that, do that. What is this property? This is nothing to him. Yeah. See, if God has already been that you're reading that, like, this small property that I'm dealing with, what you want to do, hate small hate tomorrow. What's that? Yeah. Mm. It's deep. That, that relaxes your pressure, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. said, God, that's built with your things. So what's that? Yeah. And it's already done for him already. Like, what you're doing right now, it's already done. It's already done, bro. And look at what you've been through, bro. Do, bro, you know what I'm saying? bro literally, look at what you've been through. <laughs> 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 the crowds. Do you know what I mean? The battle scars. <laughs> the, battle the battle scars, scars man. Bro. Do you know what I'm saying? You have the scars to prove that you've been through worse. So, of course, you can face whatever this is. You can is. face whatever. Yeah. As you said, it ain't going to kill you, man. It ain't going to kill you. They, they tried it before. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but tried it. it didn't work. And, bro, the reason why not many people are doing it, because it's hard. Mm-hmm. The reason why a lot of people are not there is because it's difficult. Mm. That's what you must remind yourself. Mm-hmm. That, so good. Um, because you're doing, we're doing things behind the scenes to make it work. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if it, if it was there, 
and so if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Absolutely. In business, I've learned as well. So good. Well, I've, I've learned as well. So I used to do free constitution, free this, free that. When something is free, people don't value it, they bro. Don't value mm. it. Something is too cheap. People don't value it, bro. Mm. They don't pay. They don't pay attention. They don't pay. I remember when we first started our practice, yeah. Mm. Um, people were like, oh, you know, we used to put people. We we're so happy we get patients in, but then we realized that when people weren't paying deposits, yeah, um, they're not coming. They won't come. Mm-hmm. The one time we had a meeting, my business partner goes, when. When you when you book a flight, you pay on the spot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you actually do. You pay on the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no argument. There's no this and that. You might. That's very good. And bro, you respect the everyone respects an aeroplane um, when they're leaving. Because they want to go. Don't want to go. <laughs> yeah. The plane don't wait for nobody, bro. Not at all. It's in full. It's in full. You don't pay part. You pay in full. Pay in full. Wow. Well, that's that's the terms and conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you can't pay, there's no venture. Yeah. And when you pay. You know that if you don't go in time, you miss your flight, you have to pay again. That's a mindset shift for me, you know. Mm. Because I usually do, like, for my business, I'll do holding fees, which is a lot less than the actual monthly cost. I'm going to change that now. Yeah, bro, you might, I learned early, very early in business, you must put something that will cover your costs. Mm. You don't come, that's you. And it puts premium and value what you're trying to produce. I'm going to do I'm gonna do from now on, I'm going to do the first month at the pay right there and then. 100%. Non-refundable so, deposit. So people respect your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, mm. even a good friend of mine, very good friend, very very good friend of mine. James. He missed an appointment. We, we, we sent we sent an email reminder three days before, or seventy two hours before. Mm. Or then um, he got call mm. the day before to remind him of his appointment. He said yes, he's coming. It's confirming a diary. A whole hour appointment. He didn't come. I think what's going on? And it's not the first time such situations happen. I had to message him, bro. He put hundred pound deposit. I'm sorry. Bro. How much? Hundred pound deposit. I said, bro, I'm sorry. I mean, you're my guy. Hey, what do they say? Ain't hey, nothing personal. Ain't hey, nothing personal, man. It's business. Because, bro, my nurse that's standing there, I still got to pay hourly rate. Yeah. My receptionist that's, that's there, I still got to pay... I can't say that, oh, my guy, my guy. Yeah. That doesn't work. What? Yeah. What? Maybe, maybe the first time. You might have done it the first, first time, time, but yeah. you're doing it again? No, like, no. I, I would... Yeah. I'm, I'm not seeing that in the best light because it's like... But then that, that's what, that's when I don't like business when it comes in between, like... Bro, put your terms, condition your policy and they respect your thing. Mm. Boundaries, because, isn't because it? it's, it's, it's speaking of you, it's because the business, bro. If even Literally. celebrities, influences, all that are treated principles, bro. Yeah, they respect, yeah, the principles, and they respect you, they respect you, they respect you because respect of your, your establishment, that. absolutely 100%. That's so good, man. Well, and and people only respect the things that you respect. So if you if your car's dirty, if the, the car that you drive, you've got McDonald's brown paper bag <laughs> in the back, you've got like the, the news agent back there, you got your salt wrapper on the floor, the dirt all across the floor. You think people are gonna eat in your car? Absolutely. But if your car's just being validated, like it's it's looking all nice, been detailed and all that kind of stuff, people ain't gonna want to eat in your car. Um, bro, can I eat in here? Like, no, you can't eat in here. Cause I just got it clean. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, 100%. people will respect what you put respect on, and if you put the terms and conditions in, that's you respecting your thing. And if you're upholding those terms and conditions, that's you respecting what you've put in place. So they'll respect you more for it. Well, people respect protocol. Mm. People respect boundaries. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For boundaries, people respect it. People mm. respect protocol. People respect. If you don't. If you don't uphold your standards, your protocols, your practices, my guy, doesn't doesn't work. See in life, yeah, that the, the very day you don't meet your standard, a little bit, a little part of you dies. I mm. say that again, the day you don't uphold your standards, a little part of you dies. Yesterday, this is a complete random example, right? I did my to do list yesterday, yeah. Mm. I said I want to tie up my whole room. I said I want to tie up my room. Mm-hmm. I didn't do my whole room, but I said to myself, I can't go to sleep without doing a mm-hmm. part of it. Why? Because a part of me would die. Mm. Not physically, but just, bro, because you, as a person, as a human being, you have to, when you say you're going to do something, you have to get it done. Intentionality is everything. Intent is everything. Um, I want to say one more thing. I'm um, this for everyone. Please hear my heart when I say this, mm. right? Whatever you've been through, whether it be gangs or anything, please understand there is diamonds in the dirt that mm-hmm. you've come through. Mm-hmm. You, bro, right? You said that you're, 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 you don't give up. You, you have very good long-suffering skill sets, right? Mm. But do you realise that came from the gang life? When they told you to run away, you're like, no. Like, you've always been a man who can endure by nature, bro. And it's like, those very same skill sets now are being used for the business world. Mm. So it's like, to everyone right now who's going through situations, or you're in a season right now where you're like, what's this even doing for me, this, this, this part of my life? Understand there are seeds being put on the ground, which will, be, which will bear fruit in other seasons. And Dr. Dapa, our brother, is actually a showcase, a representation of that. Mm. So, bro, I just want to beat you up for that, man. I appreciate that, and I think you know a diamond is always a diamond, whether it's in the dirt, always in it, always in it, it's in the shop. Come on now. What do you mean by that? 
So That's the good. diamond, whether it was in the dirt, mm-hmm. we talked about environment, the, mm. the, consist- the consistency of the diamond mm. didn't change. Mm-hmm. But the environment, it was in the dirt, mm. had to be washed, clean, broken down, mm-hmm. you know, shining, yeah. polished, shake together, go through, pro- <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, right, through yeah. process. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. For it to be placed in a shop. Yeah. But then, on, on us, oh, uh, no, Hangar, Central yeah. London. Hang on, yeah, Central <laughs> London. <laughs> but, bro, the constituents of what made the diamond has always been the same. Mm-hmm. The internal has always been the same. But it's the environment. But the minute you discover the value that you carry for you, the value having the inherent value, mm. then it's only a matter of time for the world to see. Perhaps, yeah. Come on now. It's only, it's only a matter. Come of, on now. So you have to believe in what you're pre- what you're presenting. You have to believe on what you've got to offer. So good, bro. You have to believe in your source. Come on now. You have to believe what you carry. Come on. I've been, bro. I remember it's so crazy, you know. Mm. I'm using love. I used to work in a private practice in Wimbledon, mm. Mm. bro. And this is before your own practice. Yeah. That's a gem right there, by the way. Before you had your own one, you were there spying to see how to run your own. 100%. That's powerful. 100%. But you've been doing this because you even shadowed the guy in year 11. And then in year 12, um, you were the nurse as well. Yep. Interesting. And, um, Very interesting. And what I didn't realize throughout uni and even going to this private practice job, because, bro, I'm from Fort Leave. You know, I'm from there. The hood, mm. you know what I'm saying? But now I'm working in Wimbledon. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. That's a big thing. Yeah. And now, <laughs> Charlotte Street. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah. it was progressive. But anyway, that time, that's like, whoa, Wimbledon, whoa. Wimbledon tennis, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, for a long period of time, I didn't know this, but I realised I had an inferiority complex. Mm. Because I didn't feel that there wasn't that much black people if I'm allowed to say this in the industry mm-hmm. it's always felt that like when it came to other kind of people from other parts of the world because there's a lot more of them in the system imposter syndrome imposter syndrome I felt that I didn't have much to offer and when I would give I remember I would treat I remember I've treated like lawyers, lawyers doctors even like someone who's been knighted and I remember there was one particular and what I used to do sometimes that because I didn't feel the the patient will accept my price I would lower the price for them mm. not believing wow can you imagine she had a I price and do, you lowered it yeah the, 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 every practice has its um price list standard yeah just say the filling is 100 pounds mm-hmm. I'll say to the I'll typically I'll say to the the business, it's 80 pounds okay for the filling are you sure is it okay oh, it, you're asking them if it's okay not telling them what the price is you're asking them if it's okay if they could pay that and remember if they have a hole i would get an x-ray and we had like a little tv thing and i'll almost justify to them you've got this problem so mm. and then it's eight pounds okay so please gonna have this eight, <laughs> eight pounds. Damn. but i didn't even know this yeah and then um one time one patient goes and they kind of cl- on a clock they said I don't know. You're the dentist. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and, and they could have meant it any way, any type of way. But then the thing is of the way that you take, because you could have taken that and said, what do you mean? You, you tell me, excuse me. Like, but you took it in a way of like, wait, I am the dentist. The like, expert. Yeah, I am the expert here. Hold yeah. on. I'm the one that's that's treating you. I'm li- treating you. You're giving them a gift, bro. Mm. You're literally giving them a gift with your treatment. You're, ask, you're trying to justify why you should get paid for your gift. You're asking them if you're allowed to take this money from them. But bro. even someone, even one, one, one dentist that I really respect to him, he even said to me, Kev, if you're going to do one in private practice, you have to cut your beard off. I, I see why he said face. it. What? No, I, I see why he said that because yeah. like a clean cut, this is that. Didn't you? Do you know I mean, I mean? Yeah, it, it don't look like it's been cut like that. Yeah, no, but like, you know, but, you know, to present, and I see, and he said it for the, the purest intentions, and, and I totally hear that. I was like, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. What, what what color was this guy? What ethnicity? He was a black guy. But he was basically saying, like, because he was doing well, he said, no, if you really want to do well. So he's looking out for you. Yeah. So it's love. Basically. Yeah, it's love. Yeah, it wasn't like, it wasn't mad. It was love. And I, and, I, and I hear him on that. But one thing about running your own practice, you can do it the way you want. Absolutely. Do you understand? Yeah. Um, But that's what you got to know that this is part of my identity. Mm-hmm. And that's what brings on to my you know, point, which we'll touch on the next segment when excellence mm. what I've learned that excellence is excellence everywhere mm. excellence doesn't have a language click him excellence doesn't have a language no skin excellent. colour no skin colour nothing. nothing if you're in Spain if they, they will see what excellence is mm-hmm. if you're in Africa you see excellence if you're in Asia Beijing 
excellence is excellence everywhere. And they see excellence, they understand it. Come on now. Mm-hmm. Ex- when excellence is portrayed, it doesn't need... So, so what they say, um, um, what's understood does not, doesn't need to be explained. Bro. Come on. No, no. When you see Bolt run, do you think someone has to understand what you say? You've seen the guy run. When you see, when you see the smiles of the people that leave your that leave your practice, do you think they have to talk to you to understand that they're gonna get the, they're gonna get the same result? It's excellence, bro. bro. Protocols, principles, practices, boundaries, mm. boundaries, excellence, bro. Excellence. You, you know it's funny, bro. I was saying to my staff and staff meeting last week. The majority, if you do get complaints, the majority of our complaints are n- hardly ever about the dental treatment. It's never. And if something doesn't go to plan, there's always a way to fix it. Most most cases, yeah. And if I don't know how to fix it, I know someone who does. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've got a network of people around me who are more experienced and all that around me yeah. that can refer. Mm-hmm. Cool. But hardly would I say that I, I failed in, in in the time we've we've been operating. I can say something has failed where the patient is completely dissatisfied. And I'll say one or two mm-hmm. max. So the majority, if there's any complaints or issues, it's maybe misunderstanding, communication, mm. maybe um, they didn't get a response to an email or a phone call or there's misunderstanding. But they're feeling like, personally like it's a personal thing. It's no, not it's, it's a service. It's, it's part of the patient journey. Got you. Yeah. So it's a journey or like, oh, they got a call, they, they, they called, they didn't get a call back or, 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 do you know what I mean? or the reception. It, it's never really... The dentist never really. I've never really had a letter to say, "Oh, I was totally dissatisfied." Not really. It's maybe how things have. And if people are probably, "Oh, Kevin, you know what? What was happening? Oh, it's still kind of sensitive." That's okay. Cool. Do we have to to plan how to sort it? But it's never really. And even if there's, and because I build such a rapport with the majority of my patients, right? Um, even if they don't know, "Oh, Kevin, you know what? I don't want to bother you, but this is still the problem." That's how they come mm. built so, because they bought into me. And you're a friend now. I'm a friend now. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's not it's not dot. It's, it's yeah, yeah, Kev. Yeah, 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 yeah you're yeah, Kev. Yeah. You're bro. This that. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So, but so I was saying. So what? And one thing I've learned in my early stages of business is that the treatment delivery is just as important as the service and the journey of the mm-hmm. patient. Mm-hmm. If the patient feels and they're paying good money because it's not cheap, and I think my patients, it's not cheap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the patient has to feel that they're getting value for money, even how they've been treated. Mm-hmm. So it's not really do the filling and go. No, 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 no. Or do treatment and go. It's literally, bro, if I take a tooth out, my staff have a protocol to call the patient next day, see if they're okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. See if they're all right. Excellence, excellence. Excellence in everything. If, they and if they have a problem, they come back. Yeah, yeah that's good. Because they know they're going to get looked after. It's a service, bro. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. And it's how the person... And I've I've literally got a, a a crib sheet for all my staff of the minute someone makes an inquiry, how we manage them each stage right up mm-hmm. to the treatment delivery to the patient's finished. That's good good at workflow. Workflow, hundred yeah, percent, yeah. because the, how the patient is treated is just as important. The customer journey. As hundred percent. Yeah. I was I was in a, I was in a rush one day. I was in like in a service. So you know when you drive like off the motorway, mm-hmm. and um. I was gonna get some brew food from a particular place, and then a cust like um a person walking by could see that I was thinking of going to this particular because there was McDonald's, there was all these different. It was like a breakfast place. The person said to me, "The food's good, but the service is bad." That's I said, "Okay, put, cool." Does that put you off? I went, I went to next bit. <laughs> it's already put you off, bro. You don't want to deal with that when you're everything. eating. I said to bro, my, I said, "My happy place, bro. I don't want to be." Put I, said, off. I said to my staff. You're representing us, a clinician. Mm-hmm. The first person they do, they speak to is not Dr. Dapp, not Dr. Jamal mm-hmm. or K. Dub. Mm-hmm. They speak to you at the front. Mm-hmm. Your representation. If they, if their reception of you is distasteful, they're not interested. Mm. They are not interested. Forget the treatment. Forget, listen, forget that. Do you know what I mean? And if people are going to spend or value your business... How you manage, treat them, deal with them mm. has to be... Listen, when I work in the NHS, my consultations were 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. My consultations are now are 45 minutes to 60 minutes. Mm-hmm. First 10 minutes is how is getting on and building rapport with the patient. Mm-hmm. Build a, that's my first... It's, it's, it's not, and from... Listen, from um, being a patient, I get invited to concerts free of charge. I get invited to boxing events I get invited to so many places just because 
that's my patient. Mm-hmm. They've built, oh, Kev, I'm doing this. It's a relationship, Let's, yeah. You know what I mean? Shout out to my guy, Charlie Biggs, from the composers, yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know him before. But because of the relationship that I've built with him, sometimes, and even, like, become so much so much friends that he's, like, he's become, a, um like, like, um, yeah, be, be, sorry, become so much, so so much of a good friend that like something would hit me or message me, and then he'd be like, sometimes I remember he was on tour with David, or they were doing the show on Dubai. I said, Kev, I've lost my retainers, and I'm I'm coming out this day. I work around him because I understand his business. Do you understand? And but he, the only reason you understand that because you communicate with them, you build a relationship with them. Do you understand? Absolutely. From that, he said, oh, you know, for the relationship, he said, oh, Kev, you know what? We're doing the composers um, at 10 years. We've got Royal Alba Hall, bro. Well, that's I'll big. you with tickets, big. bro. Yeah, that's big. And me sitting there, there are two of the composers are our patients. Hmm. Wow. I'm sitting there, wow. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. And it's, I've seen the same thing with my clients as well. One of my clients, a couple of my clients, they, they go through, everyone goes through life stuff, innit? And then my team, <laughs> my team, they move around, like they, they move around, that like we, we work around our clients 100%. because we like our clients. 100%. We like our clients. We give them the best service possible. And guess what? They tell other people yeah, about us. Yeah. It, man. And those other people tell other people about the power referrals. And the thing is, if, and life, life happens. And sometimes if things feel like go to plan, I have to ask questions, how can we do this better? How can we solve this? Mm-hmm. I remember there was a patient that, came to see us there was a mix up that was it a mix up with the appointment time they um i think i told one of my staff members uh to move their appointments around um because what we had wasn't ready stuff hadn't come yet but my staff member didn't left a voicemail mm. or tried to call them and then removed their name out of the diary and we put someone else there so the person still turned up so there was a bit of commotion, like yo, uh, and the person had come from far, mm-hmm. and the person is spending quite a lot of money. So I always asked for my team to ask her just just to wait. So I saw her, and obviously she would be a bit upset. She'd be like, you know, Kevin, I'm coming. I said, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Sorted the issue, and I gave her free whitening gels. Mm-hmm. Wow. There's a saying, people won't always remember what you say, but they remember how you made them feel. The how great, the great you? Maya Angelou. My Angelou said yeah, that. He said it yeah. all the time. I didn't realize you yeah, said it. My yeah, 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 my Angelou. But it's still how, rise. How listen, whether it's improving their confidence, mm-hmm. listen, communication skills, how, bro, communication, what leadership. But talk to that, bro. It's, it's, talk to bro, <laughs> sell me, bro. Bro, <laughs> bro. Communication, bro. I've learned, bro. Listen, me. I tell people, yeah. You see me. I'm not the best dentist in the world, you know. Mm. Neither do I aspire to be. Mm. I'm looking to be the best version of myself Come and then my patients for the best that's all I care about yeah, yeah yeah so it's not about being you know the great for me to say yeah I'm the best clinician and, uh, but it's about if I'm able to make you feel you're the best at what you do I know you're the best or you feel or you, you are the best and what I say to my patients is that look for this t- treatment cost it costs it costs because obviously I'm just investing my time and we're buying maybe materials and all that. But you can't put a value on the confidence that you have. It can't put a value of how you feel mm-hmm. about yourself. Because mm-hmm. when you feel better about yourself, you do more. Mm-hmm. When you come up for the gym, you feel like, yeah, yeah. I'm that guy. I'm that guy. Yeah, or, or you're that girl. Who's yeah. that girl? For the lady that's not <laughs> watching, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And if I can make you feel and look better mm. about you know, if you were bullied about your teeth or if you were, if you, or if you feel that we were talking about, if you have to cover Copy or you them, can't yeah. smile or anything like that. Game changer. What I do for you, you, sp- you know what I mean? Can be, is, is absolutely, I say medical doctors save lives, but we change lives. Mm. Seriously, because the, tr- the power of transformation and I treat people from normal regular people to people who are the high level in their industry, mm. yeah? And even them, when I see, after they've come back, when I see them for a review, the way they walk... It's different. It's different. Ah. Mm-hmm. You can't put money, you can't put a price on that. You can't put a price on that, bro. You can't, bro. You can't. I only charge you because it's my time and, and materials. And it, but yeah, yeah. what I do for you is more. Yeah. It's deeper. It's deeper. It's deeper, bro. There, there's, there, there, there's, um, there's, um, there's, there's one of, you lot will know him, there's uh, one of my patients, now a friend as well, Emmanuel Suko. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that, yes. yes. Hold on, why do I recognize that name? Why, why do you recognize that name, bro? Friends of Bricks with Tips. Uh, bro, well, you, he's been on here multiple times, man. He hosted our first event. <laughs> okay, and okay. literally, when we saw him... I'll play, when by we, the way. We, we, saw it, we saw his teeth. I think it was... Suko, yeah? Yeah, Suko, okay, okay. yeah. I think we saw it. Oh, my God. What? 
Are you? I thought you were playing, bro. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm deep in his teeth. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. journey his teeth is crazy, we, 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 bro. We, we his teeth are crazy. I saw him at an event. I said, "Where'd you get those from?" <laughs> <laughs> it was. A, um, do you know who Byron Byron Cole is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was at one of Byron's events. Okay, cool. Um, Where'd you get them from? Huh? Wait, I, said, I said, "Where'd you get them from?" Where did they come from? Like, like, what's this? And I was like, "Bro, you're shining, bro." And he's like, "Thank you, bro." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, bro. And he was just smiling, and then. Good man, yeah, they look yeah. really, really good. And of course, we've what got a testimonial for you, though. Here. Yeah, but that's your business card, there, man. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. That's your bro. business card. His teeth are insane. Yeah, so, bro, bro, bro. His teeth, he, he, he's in the Barclays app. <laughs> <laughs> bro, me, I say, bro. I love you, man. Man, we all love up, you. Yeah, you yeah. Bro. Shout you, man. You're yeah. amazing, bro. I, 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 mean, I, I said this was another, um, another, um, another um, video the other day. I said, look, um, the old president of Nigeria, um, what's his name? Not the current one, the previous one. Good luck, Jonathan. No, I don't after him. His name is Good Luck. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> the just most recent president of Nigeria. Yeah. People like Jay Z, the walk is up. I said, my teeth have been to places that I haven't been. Mm -hmm. My teeth have been in rooms that I haven't been. Mm -hmm. That's a deep thing for me. That's deep, bro. Deep, bro. That's deep. People looking words. at that, like, where would you get that smile from? And Emmanuel will tell me, bro. He tell me we will talk. He like, yo, bro. Like, he said to me, Kev, um, bro. Like, people take me more seriously. Mm -hmm. Really, hundred percent. The rooms that he's in, because of the teeth. Take you more seriously. Listen, man, people, Kev, this has been amazing. <laughs> but where you're going right now needs to be talked on in the next episode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It needs to be talked on in yeah, the next yeah, episode. Yeah. I think in the next episode, what we can talk about is we can talk about the actual, okay, what the journey is right now, yeah, where yeah. you're going to, also also about confidence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because confidence are, is a very key thing. It's something that we wanted to talk about this time as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we want to talk about confidence, also like the practices that you're opening up as well. Yeah. And, um, I'm very much looking forward to it. Was there anything else, Rob, that I missed? Yeah, bro, there's a few things, man. But, well, you hit hit, hit him on, the, on the head mostly. Like, I wanted to go into more detail about the spirit of excellence, man. Because, bro, like, there's no coincidence that you're... I said earlier on, Dr. Depart right now, he is serving in front of kings and queens. Now, I'm not saying King Charles or Princess Diana, rest in peace. I'm talking about kings and queens of the industry. It's not just... As he said, it's not just the people who are... Quote, quote, I mean, everyone's regular, but you know what I mean? Like, people who are just on normal status, he's also serving in front of people who are at the top of their game. But that, that does not just come up, that does not just come after chance. That comes through precision, hard work, working on his skill sets, but most importantly, working on himself, right? So, that's a huge thing there. Um, as well as this, too, as you said rightfully, the, um, confidence, which is a really important mm. thing I wanted to touch on, too. And also, like, um, Social media, man. We spoke briefly yes. about the power of promotion yeah. mm. and how it's so important to promote yourself. Uh, but one thing I want to say, lastly, before we go, right, <laughs> is the law of nature. We'll talk about that very quickly, right? Mm. And the law of nature states this, right? When you put a seed in the ground, most of the work is actually underground before it comes to pass. Mm. And I want to give a word to everyone right now, on your journey right now, where you feel like, hold on, why am I not seeing my, my return on my investment, Right? The reason why you're not seeing a return on your investment just yet is because of delayed gratification. The seed needs time to have the right nutrients, the right moisture, the right seeds. But most importantly, it needs to go through a few seasons for it to start to grow, right? Dr. Depart, our brother right now, has actually showed to us here very clearly the power of putting your seeds on the ground, watering it, trusting the process, coming out of his comfort zone, going to Plymouth, meeting with new people at his Archbishop Tennyson's, all those things that he's done that right in order for him to be the best plant that he can be so the moral of the story is this guys trust the process one but not only trust the process document the process too because it's easy for you to lose hope and it's easy for us to say trust the process but also document the process too what are you learning on the journey because trust me we actually understand the journey and you understand your story you understand that hold on i can do this because i'm learning lessons from previous seasons so keep the faith keep on believing well, can i add to that quickly please do bro man the, it's just uh, what came to me is that you know the reason why, you know, when, you know, the the seed, um, it first grows underground. Yes. The reason why it does that because it's establishing the roots. The minute when it comes up out of the ground, it's now exposed to four different seasons. Mm -hmm. And the real the reasons why it's able to withstand the four different seasons is because of its roots. That's good. And it's able. The roots are able to sap and able to 
and learn to pull and get um, nutrients from the ground and even water and everything because of the season. So sometimes if you expose yourself too quickly and you haven't got enough roots, you wither. That'll be with a mice. But if you have a good foundation, come on now. But the foundation is built on working underground. The reason why we're on the level, this level floor in this building is because mm-hmm. what is built underground. If you're building something, the most expensive thing is the foundation. So if the roots are being uh, are there and has managed to gather itself and to strengthen itself, no matter what season, Psalm chapter one environment, mm-hmm. no matter what season you find yourself, whether it's winter, summer, spring, autumn, you're able to withstand and bear fruit in that season. Why? Because of the roots that you've got. So good, man. So good. But if you just say, well, bro is a deep thought. My God, you see that he was, <laughs> he was thinking his whole life. <laughs> All right, please, Justin, please get a picture of that, please, somehow. That was, <laughs> I saw his whole life right there. Whoa. And if you just say, brother, before we close off. I just thought it was interesting how you were saying the four seasons, he was exposed to the four seasons, because that's not something I thought of, because we said this analogy many, many times, but that isn't something that we've ever said, that the four seasons, and I think that is so important because that introduces environment into the picture, because you grow in the foundations and everything. You, the, the how you grow how you continue to grow is determined by the found by your foundations yes and also the seasons that you go through and can you withstand can can you stand the rain because brother listen to me yeah yeah the, when you're in the ground yeah. and the soil it's dark mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's i'm dark. with you bro i'm there you're with by yourself yeah. i'm there with you bro you know give for clicks man because <laughs> i'm there with you kev man and you know what they say you can correct me on this uh-huh. the seed has to die in the ground. Come on now. No, there's no exposure. Yeah. No one's heard about you. Yeah. No one's seen you. Yeah. You're thinking about the light. Yeah. But no one's seen you. No. But the dark Come is on. preparing you. Come on now. You're building the. Yeah. You're, you're you're extending your roots. Yes. You're doing all everything no underground. Yeah. At the right time, when you get up, oh, and remember, the summer or the light season is one of the seasons. So you would go through the winter, the You're cold. You're preaching, though, bro. No. Actually, hey, we say part-time dentist, part-time pastor. No, for real, some of this stuff, <laughs> the way he's moving, it's not even pastor-esque, bro. <laughs> pastor-esque. Pastor-esque, bro. Bro, you get the cold mm. when you have to be in the cold. Yeah. Then you get the autumn when you're losing your leaves. Come mm. on now. When you think you're losing. Mm-hmm. I've when you feel there. like your leaves are dying, you're seeing the leaves and thinking, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's only time when the spring is preparing you for the summer where you shoot. Yeah. Listen, bro. That's what anybody that's that that that's tuning in and they're saying, you know what, I'm struggling, I'm tying myself in the dark, and this is that. Brother, what I've told you on my story, it goes back for when it was deep. Deep in the darkness. Deep in the darkness, bro. Yes, yeah. It just didn't come from 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 just now. Yeah. It doesn't work like that, bro. Yeah. It built character, it come built on. the disappointment, the discouragements, and all mm. of that stuff. And the ability to say, you know what, despite how I feel, I'm still gonna move forward. Come on, bro. That hustlers thing, that that inbuilt system that I have, the inbuilt dissatisfaction, mm. has come from my processes that I've been through. Damn, you will knock me down today, mm. but I always find a way, bro. That's why. That's why I like boxing so much, bro. Bro, <laughs> see, Paul. Do you know when you actually understand human psychology, everything makes sense. Like we we're saying, there's probably why you love psychology so not psychology, boxing so much. The whole idea of getting out, getting knocked down, getting back up again. All these things come around together. And what you said there about the darkness, bro, that's why I say don't only just trust the process, document the process. But, uh, but like, the greatest, like, even down from the Tyson Fury, one of the greatest fighters today, it's not that he has never been down, but it's the ability to get up when you've been down. Come on. And... I have accepted that I will fail. That's good. But I'll fail my way to success. Come on. Mm. What it's basically saying is that, okay, this way, this way was not the right way forward. Then there's another way. But I've accepted, I've learned to manage my expectations that if this doesn't work, cool. I'm down to scratch for a day. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna, I've accepted that I'm going to mess up. But I'm still going to... But my, my vision... Of the goal, it's still gonna continue, bro. I might take a little while, but it's still gonna happen. So, good. so bro, I, I've learned that you know what, see, this life <laughs> you're gonna fail, there's gonna make mistakes, there's gonna be issues. But listen, when I think about how far a man's come, mm. 
and I think about and the rooms that I find myself drop like I've had like, when I think about some of the the government officials and the first time I'm saying this one of my patients I've treated is the previous um, chief justice of Ghana speak and when they're in my care and they open their mouth it's like the most vulnerable hmm. so when I learned that no matter who you are sports person movie producer artist business person podcaster podcaster <laughs> if you need help you need help mm-hmm. we all need it we all need it we all need it hey doc what, what's the problem what, what's the answer what's the solution I'm thinking me small boy come from funny. big man now come on big man but it, it, it just humbles you as you're saying mm. like, wow it's God's grace that I've put me in this position yeah. how did I people used to see on TV people used to see what, nah, they're my, what, how it's the grace of God bro and I'm just grateful to to what God has done, what God is about to do, and I'm mm. forever expecting. Even though I'm minding my expectations, eh? if it doesn't work, cool, no problem. But I'm my expectations, and guys, believe in your source, believe in your podcast, believe what about you know, swag with it, bro. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I continue to push. You know, pe- people don't have to like it; just got to respect what you're doing. It's come the quality, mm. what's coming through, like you know. And always set yourself high highs, bigger this, bigger that. You know, it's just keep pushing. Like delay gratification, things will knock you down. But bro, keep pushing. It's gonna work. It, the pressure that you apply to push through, the things have to knock down. Has to, bro. Has to, bro. Has to, bro. Has to, has to. The law of persistence, bro. <laughs> so many things there, man. Guys, <laughs> this was. Episode one, bro. We could do like a hundred, man. <laughs> <laughs> we could do like a hundred, man. But guys, this was episode one of the. I'm not gonna, I'm not, let's say the the two part series with Doctor Dapa. Let's not limit it to two. Yeah. <laughs> let's not limit it to two. This is the first episode with first of Dapa. X amount. First of X amount, right? And there was one last final thing. Yeah, yeah. Final, final thing to wrap it up. Yeah. Mm. The see the four seasons. Yes. Mm. Everybody goes through the four seasons. Yep. The people that you're at university with, they went through those four seasons. Mm-hmm. People you became doctors with and graduated with, they became the f- they, they went through those f- same four seasons that you've been through multiple, multiple times in your life. Mm-hmm. But the thing is with any kind of plant, any kind of tree, whatever, the, the height of the tree is determined by the amount of foundations and how deep the roots go. 100%. And you've been building some very, very deep roots and they will allow you to go extremely, extremely high. And the same with us, been preparing in the dark, man. It's gonna be time to come to life, everybody. And my people, with that, we hope you have an amazing and blessed day. My name was and still is Jonathan. My name is the people's the people's coach. Mm. Coach could say. My name is Dr. Kevin Dapper, the people's dentist. Jeez. And wish this is the people's podcast. Come on, <laughs> people. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Sign off. God bless, man.